we welcome you to this unforgettable night of WWE action. Tonight's show has all the makings of an instant classic. I can't wait anymore. Let's go. The Prince has arrived. A decorated champion who has truly reinvented himself. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds. This is a man who is already one of the greatest NXT superstars in history, but truly cemented his legacy by returning and dominating as NXT champion once again. Well, now he's set to dominate any roster that Finn Balor targets. You know, I don't know if it's just me, or does Finn Balor just keep getting cooler every year? Saxon, when it comes to being cool, you are one man I will never ask. You can see the intense focus and drive in the eyes of Finn Balor. When it comes to Finn Balor, it's always about competing at the highest of levels. Ah, I love this. An entrance befitting of a true superhero. And the best part about it, Saxton, is this isn't a movie. This isn't a comic book. This is real life. Not CGI, not special effects. Ricochet is the real deal. And his opponent from Paducah, Kentucky, weighing in at 190 pounds. Well, we've seen Ricochet have early success in his WWE career. The former United States Champion, he struggled a little bit, but now I really believe Ricochet is truly starting to find himself. One of the most exciting superstars in the world today, Ricochet. I just love to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show because Ricochet is going to do something special here tonight. Finn Balor's changes in attitude may be controversial, but it's worth acknowledging one thing that has never changed for Balor, and that is appreciation of a good challenge. Balor loves being pushed to his limit, from his time in Japan to his tenure on multiple WWE brands. Balor gives as well as he gets. An important part of his personality is to bring the best out of his opponent. Perched up top, diving knee drop! Destroy your nose. Stomping down. 
And targeting the leg there. You know, Ricochet not only flies, but his accuracy to hit his opponent where the most damage can be done is not spoken about enough. That accuracy comes from Ricochet's ability to understand where his body is in a three- Oh, he's in the drop zone! Who did Ross? Did Finn clinch this for the win? Two count! It's over, all in a nice work. Gristle, perhaps the perfect match. Never any doubt in this win. That's why they call it light work, Cole. Barely even broke a sweat. Oh, no. Oh, yes. The visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins has arrived. Well, certainly Seth Rollins has unmatched accolades, a championship resume, but a wardrobe that leaves a lot to be desired. Saxton, last time you saw that much drip, you called a plumber. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa. Weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! What an amazing outfit. Truly the best dressed man in WWE. And that holds a lot of water coming from me. Best dressed man? Rollins' outfit is my eyes traumatized. Look at this guy. I can't stop. No one can. Imagine the massive size of his ego. What a weirdo. Impressive young talent. The future of this business. Incredibly skilled, but also incredibly narcissistic. It's okay to be narcissistic when you back it up. And his opponent, representing the way, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory. Well, Johnny Gargano and Candice LeRae have been doing a very good job of warping this young man's mind. Bite your tongue, Saxton. Austin Theory has never been happier or more fulfilled. Austin Theory has reached all new heights under the guidance of the way. Right now, Theory needs to carve his own path. You know, Seth Rollins truly believes that he and he alone is the future of WWE. And you doubt him? Just look at all Seth's accomplished here. All of the foes he's defeated and the accolades he's won. Seth deserves to be the future of the WWE, and I don't think... Referee in position. Two. Kicks out in the nick of time. Just got scary close to the three count there. Cover. Kick out at one. It'll take more than that to hold him down. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. 
I don't know if this is a show of confidence. From the top, he misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Spin kick to the midsection. Quick thinking from Theory. Oh, this is a great move. The brain buster. Goes into the pin. Two. And he powers out. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Kick to the gut. I have a theory what's coming next. Ataxia. Can Theory put it away here? Is it enough? There's two. An emphatic victory. Here is your winner, Austin Theory. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. This is what you get when you have complete confidence and control of the situation. in his glory. The following contest is an eight-man battle royal and is for the Intercontinental Championship. Introducing the challenger from Wichita Falls, Texas. Weighing in at 320 pounds, King Lee. A truly exceptional athlete, built like a tank, but moves like a fighter jet. Yeah, but once that bell rings, you can expect a thunderous assault. An athlete with a rugged southpaw style that's extremely tough to prepare for. Yeah, Keith Lee makes it easy when he lights opponents up. Or sending them through the mat. One of the hardest hitting superstars in the game. From Tampa, Florida, weighing in at 200 pounds, Roderick Strong. A man who was once seen as honorable, once seen as respected. Who are you to decide what's honorable, Saxton? Roddy's the man. Roderick Strong, success has gone through the roof. I guess Roderick was willing to give up a part of himself to achieve success. It's amazing how easily it is to fill a hole in yourself with championship gold, Byron. One of the premier up-and-coming cruiserweights. Tijuana, Mexico, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio Jr. You know, multi-time WCW Cruiserweight Champion. Remember the time he put his mask on the line against Eddie Guerrero and won? Ray Mysterio Jr. proved he was willing to bet on himself and succeeded in the process. Each time this man steps in the ring, he leaves the audience jaws on the floor. 
You gotta love an underdog story like Rey Mysterio's. It sounds nice, but I wouldn't know. I've never been an underdog in my life. Now oh, this man here is simply looking to cause some hurt. We are about to conduct a little business with the Almighty. From Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the Almighty Bobby Lashley. Already such an accomplished career, but he's got a lot more to prove. The Almighty Bobby Lashley. We are about to witness a display of dominance. And business is about to be done. An excellent high flyer carrying on the Mysterio name. This is going to be good from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dominic Mysterio. Dominic and his dad, Ray, the first ever father and son tag team champions in the history of WWE. Think about this, in his rookie year in WWE, Dominic Mysterio earned victories over the likes of Chad Gable, Robert Roode, even King Corbin. I think Dominic Mysterio has all the potential in the world. I agree with you, Cole, and it looks like Dominic's already starting to realize that potential. The Alpha Academy is open for business. We are about to see a clinic. Representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, Weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Former Olympian, former NXT Tag Team Champion, SmackDown Live Tag Team Champion, one of the most self-assured superstars you will see in the WWE. I guess uh, this means the conspiracy's continuing. They never stop with this guy. From Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, Sammy Zayn! Well, the conspiracy theorist himself has now joined us. Although, you should be excited about that, Byron. One of the greatest minds this industry has ever known. Conspiracy or otherwise, Sami Zayn has never been more successful than he has recently. Well, certainly uh, no one can question the in-ring ability of Sami Zayn, a multiple-time intercontinental champion. Somehow, for some reason, Sami Zayn still can't get a fair shake here in WWE. Yeah, sure he can't. People seem to forget how beloved Sami Zayn was. Now all anybody wants to do is complain about him. Well, it's because Sami's changed. Sami hasn't changed. The world around him has. One of the signature superstars in NXT history. The self-proclaimed greatest sports entertainer in history. From Milwaukee, Wisconsin. 
weighing in at 201 pounds. He is the Intercontinental Champion, Tommaso Ciampa! Tommaso Ciampa calls himself the Blackheart because he makes no distinction between friend and foe inside the ring. And Byron, that never bodes well for Ciampa's opponents. A man driven by desire and passion, which is interpreted by some as unbridled ruthlessness. Now you look at Champa, you look at a guy who has threatened careers, ruined psyches, and that's for the people he actually likes. That's the genius of being able to take the humanity out of the equation. This is a man who decided a long time ago that there were no lengths he wouldn't go to for success. Because Champa knows his career could end at any time and wants to make his mark and ensure his place in history. Doesn't wait for his moment, he takes it for himself. Battle Royal rules here. Last superstar remaining in the ring is your winner. Attacks from all angles, temporary alliances, and unexpected action from bell to bell. You gotta love a Battle Royal. Oh my gosh! A club with a right forearm. Oh, strong impact. Uh-oh. Whoa, just floating through the air. Definitely not where you want to be right now. Just carried like a ragdoll here. Boom! A forearm smack! Forearm right to the jaw! The old running haymaker counts! And in. Set up. Oh no! Left kick! And it's turned around on Lee. And Lashley saw what was coming. Spiked! Able to interrupt the attack! Oh, a shot right to the kidney! Elbow smash! Boy, oh, you're a pin uppercut. Kick to the gut. Up and over. He's turning the tables. Oh, oh, my goodness. What a forearm. Challengers are a little worse for winning. Eliminated. Ah, look at this. Oh, man. Drop kick. Oh. Kick to the gut. And Psycho Cutter. Suplex. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh -hoo. Counters that. Great wherewithal on the counter. Bought up for cut. That'll cost some teeth. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Ooh, I mean, the trick has been eliminated. And a slap, too. Big boot. Tossed into the corner. Right across the face. Chopper with a well-timed shot. Overhand strikes. Ooh. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. We could have an elimination here. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Oh, neck breaker. Ray Mysterio has been hey, eliminated. My God, what a forearm! I a jaw. the counter. Roderick Strong has been in And now he's giving you all another chance to simply take it all in. Champa avoids damage. Oh, a step up in Zagari. I think we're gonna see it, gentlemen. The power bomb. Project Champa. Ooh. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. And Sammy is countered. Champa. Fairy tale ending. Looks like the champ is going to retain.
Oh my God, look at this. They're setting him up. Double suplex. What a devastating maneuver. Look at him. Pride and poise personified. Oh, man. Scaly Ooh, Harper clothesline. Butterfly double underhook up and fairy tale ending. Another one bites the dust to the champ. Double underhook applied, up and fairy tale ending. A championship level move. Being carried around with ease. Uh oh, this could be it. So much for that. Guess that wasn't quite the opportune moment. Bicycle knee strike. Ouch. Champa has quickly taken control. Champa will stop at nothing to get ahead. Oh, neck breaker. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. I think we're going to see it, gentlemen. The power bomb. Project Champa. Total underhook applied. Up and fairy tale ending. But champions need to finish the job. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Oh. And again. Great way to wear down your opponent. Also, Champa is overjoyed to remain champion. Here is your winner, and still Intercontinental Champion, Tommaso Champa. An important victory for him in this match. No doubt about it, the better superstar definitely won tonight. Here comes Cesaro. The Swiss cyborg has arrived. Corey, we've said it before and we'll say it again. Pound for pound, Cesaro is the strongest man in all of WWE. The following contest is a submission match. Making his way to the ring from Lucerne, Switzerland. Weighing in at 232 pounds. Cesaro! Yeah, Cesaro has held tag team titles with many different partners, even a former United States champion. Just look at the focus, the intensity, the drive on the face of Cesaro.
Well, a pure thoroughbred, a stallion of WWE. One of the best pure wrestlers in WWE. Uh, uh, and guys, an original bro. And his opponent, representing RK Bro, from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 216 pounds, Riddle. Riddle's also somehow one of the most relaxed guys in the business outside of the ring. All business inside of it. I like Riddle. I like his swag. I think I can learn a thing or two from him. It's not going to make you any cooler. Nonetheless, oh, ow, oh, jeez. His flip-flop hit me in the nose. Good, you should leave the desk. Go see the nurse. No pinfalls tonight, Corey. Just one superstar trying to impose their will on another, forcing them to submit. That's right, Cole. And in a submission match, you have to exploit any weakness your opponent has. Sore ankle, break that thing. Sore ribs, throw your opponent against the barricade. All's fair in love and war. That's a great strategy, Corey. But what if your opponent doesn't have a weakness you can exploit? Well, if they don't have a weakness, you give them one. Pretty simple. One thing we know for certain, somebody's going to have to concede this thing. Well placed, knees to the hamstring. Cesaro anticipated that one. And another counter. And there's a takedown. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Ring awareness is often overlooked in a submission match. Sure, there's no rope breaks, but they're still handy for making escapes or adding extra torque to an attack. That's great advice, Corey. Smart positioning could be what decides the match. Great awareness from Riddle. All right, back to it. Returning to the ring. Power slam. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Enough already. Riddle avoids the attack. Here it comes. The rack attack! And that's gonna jam Cesaro's offense. Pop forearm! He's looking a little off balance. Whoa! Nasty backhand right there. Oh, vicious body shot. And full control here. Face first. Answering back. He's returning fire. Uh-oh, Riddle. Looking for the submit. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. Control. Oh, well, you know what time it is. It's time to go swinging. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Rocking the wrist and the knee. We're seeing an unbelievable performance in front of us. The original bro looking to end this. Bro, Derek. Rid and here we go. Locked in. It's locked in. The arm bar is locked in. Submit forces his opponent to tap out. Taps out and gets the submission match win. Big effort tonight. A well-earned victory here tonight. Oh, man, guys, the Swiss Superman just met his mortal weakness tonight.
the table. The Tribal Chief. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, Roman Reigns! Already cemented himself as an all-time great multiple WWE and Universal Champion, a Royal Rumble winner, held the Universal title for over a year. How about five WrestleMania main event matches, defeating legends like Triple H, Edge, and The Undertaker. The man who now leads the bloodline. A man who used to fight with honor, but now will do whatever it takes to retain his spot at the head of the table. Protecting his Samoan family legacy on top of the food chain. A main eventer since day one, but now is tougher than ever. Back after a decade, the two-time Royal Rumble winner. The personification of grit. A superstar looking to reach the pinnacle of his second mountain. There is only one rated R superstar. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, the rated R superstar. Who can forget the incredible comeback story of Edge, who entered number one and outlasted every competitor to win the 2021 Royal Rumble. This is going to be an exciting match as the head of the table looks to settle a score with the rated R superstar. This seems like a pretty even matchup when you boil it down, guys. Each of them have such explosive offensive attacks. It's spear versus spear, Saxton. I'm leaning toward giving Roman the upper hand here, but we're about to find out. He's far from finished. Look at Reigns, top rope. From the top. Tough position to be caught in here. Boom, goes tumbling to the outside. Reigns establishing the upper hand. And Reigns is looking like too much for Edge. That hit connects from Roman Reigns. Oh, that is going to leave a mark. He's feeling the effects of that last hit. We know Reigns is a capable athlete, Corey, but he has to feel some pressure taking on a superstar like Edge. Well, Reigns has felt that Edge has disrespected him and his family before. I'm betting Roman hasn't forgotten that and is going to use that as ammunition against Edge here. Oh, what a right hook. Oh, no. Stun gun. 
And Edge is coming under duress. Roman seems tapped into his endless reserve of strength. Superman punch! Reigns comes up short on that attack. of counter. <gasps> Gotta find a way to get out of this. Oklahoma slam! <laughs> and he's taking this to the outside now. That's how you stop your opponent. He's in a little bit of trouble now. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Powerless position to be in right now. Oh! Reigns really having his way right here. Edge's defenses are being mowed down. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. Here he comes, sliding back in. Respects Reigns more after the head of the table cinches it in. The guillotine cinched in. This one could be over. Edge the rated up. Tap out. And this one is over. Here is your winner, Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns said what he was going to do and came out and did it. After a loss like this, I bet Edge is going to show him the proper respect now. Now, uh, come on, Corey. You know Edge respects Reigns and his family. This perceived disrespect is all in Roman's head. Maybe so, but with a win over the rated R superstar, Reigns is certainly riding. Now here's the Rebel Heart turned Black Heart. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the way from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano! The first NXT Triple Crown Champion has held the NXT Championship, NXT North American Championship, and NXT Tag Team Gold. Now bestowing that success on the rest of the way. A true delight on any night. An entrance like no other. Hey, who else can slow down time? Don't worry, Saxton, you'll still be old. And his opponent from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 215 pounds, John Morrison. 
A man with mind-boggling athleticism and style for days. You know, he's so fluid and agile in the ring. Yeah, and one of the most innovative competitors around. Johnny Gargano out here. Whether you like his personality or not, you cannot deny just how tenacious of an in-ring competitor he is. I don't know why anyone wouldn't like someone as magnanimous as Gargano Cole, but you are correct that Gargano has a tenacity that most superstars can only dream of. Persistent, relentless, dogged, that is the way is touted by Gargano and his family. Some would also say stubborn, but Gargano certainly knows how to leave his mark once that bell rings. And John Morrison, he hasn't missed a single step since returning to WWE. As confident as he's ever been, thanks in large part to his best friendship with The Miz. Not that he can't get the job done by himself, of course. Oh, look at the guillotine! The guillotine! Into the ring now. Ooh! Right in the mouth, oh, relentless. God. Enough already. Johnny anticipated that. A running Hurricane Rana. Beautiful. Go oh, right to the kidneys. God, please. If Johnny Gargano wants to win this match, he needs to get in that big match mindset of his. He needs to go to that place where he'll do anything to score the victory. It's certainly been true in the past that when Gargano commits himself to a goal, he seems unstoppable. That could be the key for him tonight. Well, that didn't go as Johnny designed. Let's practice our amateur dentistry. Big kick. Oh, we're going for a little moonlight drive. Strikes with a kick. Drop. Morrison with a stellar maneuver, making it look easy. Kick to the ear by Johnny Drip Drip, and we are all about to take a trip. Gargano's in a crisis here. Off into the pin. Two. And that's all she wrote. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight. What a steamrolling. Comes the beast. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! Emotionless, heartless, and hell-bent on absolute destruction. 
That, my friends, is the Beast Incarnate, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar began his career dominating WWE, was nearly unstoppable in MMA, and has spent over a decade dominating the WWE landscape since returning. Lesnar held the Universal title for 504 days, the longest WWE title reign in 30 years. A man who has been virtually unstoppable. For this one-of-a-kind competitor, the often imitated, never duplicated, Kofi Kingston. And his opponent, representing the New Day, from Ghana, West Africa, weighing in at 212 pounds, Kofi Kingston. You look at the resume of Kofi Kingston and everything he's accomplished, but you cannot forget when Kofi Mania ran wild at WrestleMania and Kofi Kingston became the WWE Champion. It cemented Kofi's legacy, Byron. It made him a surefire first ballot Hall of Famer. Kofi Kingston, the real deal. If you don't believe human beings can fly, Kofi Kingston is happy to prove you wrong. Hey, if you've got to compete against Kofi Kingston, expect the unexpected because Kofi is always going to bring it. Kobe Kingston here, a superstar who will tell you himself why he loves to have fun and keep things light and positive. He still strives for greatness here in WWE, not just as a tag team competitor, but in a singles competition as well. Absolutely. As soon as Kobe steps into the squared circle and that bell rings, he's out there to prove he's the very best. Tonight, he has another chance to prove just that. And knowing Brock Lesnar, his mindset for this match is simple. Follow his daily regimen of eat, Sleep, conquer, repeat. You're absolutely right, Saxton. Lesnar is as methodical as he is dangerous. Carefully measured knee drop. Hung out to dry. Whoa! A slingshot cross body. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. Brock Lesnar's sheer physical ability may be completely unmatched in WWE history. How do you possibly compete against an opponent of Lesnar's size and strength? There's no guarantee for bringing Brock down, but one thing's for certain. You can't hold anything back. You have to give this match everything you have and then some if you're going to have even a hope of finding victory. The Beast now is being contained. It's obvious he's giving Lesnar everything tonight, going all out to try and take down the Beast Incarnate. Lesnar's showing he's not out of it. He weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. Lesnar with a waist. Kofi turns it around. A step up in Zagiri. Here we go. Ooh, And with that, Kofi Kingston just sent a definitive message. He's not playing around here. Oh, the world's strongest flag. An unbelievable sequence from Kofi. You don't see Lesnar. Oh, it's oh. trouble in paradise. Brock's down. The Beast is wounded. An emphatic victory. seemed like a pretty easy day at the office right there. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets.